I'm so excited to be coming to the club and to be named one of the new senior coaches for the club. Uh, for, for so many reasons, I'm excited about joining uh, such an amazing organisation. I think the last fortnight in particular have been phenomenal. You know, two of the best games, I think anybody would argue, say, uh, in playoff rugby, but also just the history of Harlequins and the identity that I remember growing up um, and, and hearing about Harlequins of London. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon about the opportunity to come to London and join the team. Yeah, of course. I mean, I was up at uh, 4 a.m. New Zealand time with my popcorn and, and fizz to, to cheer on the boys for both the semi and final. It's really interesting. A lot of the people here have said, wow, who wants to take over a, a team that's just won the premiership? Probably the lucky thing for me is it doesn't change my remit. You know, my focus on making sure that the team culture is strong. We want to build a really strong academy and connect uh, for future generations. And also just to enhance and add value to the amazing coaching group that is all, already on the ground and has already won a championship. So for me, uh, I'm, I'm really excited uh, about just adding value to a team that is already humming really well. Yeah, it's a great assortment of, of human beings, isn't it? Like every team needs a Welshman. Uh, we've got an Irishman. You've got a, a Northern man. Every team needs a hard Northern man. And you need to have a Kiwi. Uh, so uh, well, probably the first thing is they know this club intimately well and the DNA of the club. And I think that's really come through this second half of the season. Uh, they're all really experienced in their own areas. And I think individually their portfolios have gone exceptionally well. So... Um, yeah, I, I know them very well from their playing days and also seeing them flourish as they've become clearly world-class uh, premiership coaches. Yeah, so for me, that's probably going to be my first task is really familiarising myself with the squad. The, the, the squad is solid as a rock. And I think one of the things they'll be looking to is building on with the fresh faces. And, and of course, every time someone leaves, you're, you know, you're, you're losing some uh, capabilities and personality and character. Uh, and that's always hard, but you, you're, hoping, you're hoping that the freshness and the energy that the new, uh, the new players brings kind of adds and springboards to the current success of the team. So, uh, you know, that's a key role for me. Uh, and I'm looking forward to getting to know these, these players and what makes them tick. Uh, probably a big thing with this coaching group in particular is to find out where I'm going to add the most value. Uh, they are operating exceptionally well. So for me... Um, I'm going to bring a different perspective. I'm going to ask really dumb questions, as new people do, but that's probably the, the, the bit that might be useful early on. I'm definitely not going to reinvent the wheel. I mean, that would be, that would be lunacy. So asking lots of dumb questions um, and, and learning from a group that understands the premiership rugby way better than me. Uh, for me, it's about perspective and maybe coming from different angles with some of the challenges they faced this year. It's a fascinating observation that they've made, that they really want to make sure that people that join Harlequins are paddling in the same direction. And I, I, throughout the whole interview process, I was, I was absolutely amazed by the thoroughness and also the understanding of what they needed, what Harlequins needs. Um, I mean, I remember when I was growing up uh, watching Harlequins or hearing about Harlequins as the uh, and it's it's probably not a great phase the glamour the glamour club of of England, but it, it's it's world renowned, and the DNA about the way they play is is something that needs to be nurtured and needs to be um, understood if you're going to add value. And I, I think that's something that uh, through the interview process, you, you know, Laurie and Billy and the coaches have been really clear about that they want to make sure that they don't lose the essence of what got them to the final and won the final. You need to do certain things if you're going to play in, in the finals and if you're going to win the finals. And I think this year, you know, you know, Quinn's had all the box ticked around the, the key parts of the game. But there's also a piece there around positivity of play. And I think anytime you get a coach from New Zealand, there's going to be a mindset around playing. And that's the, one of the things I love about Quinn's. The Quinn's way is we play. And I think the, the unique thing, or one of the great things about rugby is you can win the championship in very different manners. You know, the way the Saracens have won it and Exeter have won it and now the way Quinns have won it has been different and that's the beautiful thing about our game. I'm definitely more of a Quinns coaching philosophy, my way as we play, but you have to be pragmatic in the premiership because it is the closest and hardest, most difficult competition in the world.
probably I, I was really lucky. I, I started my coaching in Japan as a player coach. And I never thought I was going to go into, into, into coaching full time. But, you know, for some of us, we stumble into it. So I was really lucky to have the opportunity in Japan. And then I went into Australia and immigrated and got into commercial real estate. And from there, I, I started coaching and playing uh, in, in Australia uh, uh, for the University of Queensland. And then I was really blessed. A, a, a guy, Rob Penny, was looking for a, a backs coach. And I interviewed and I got the job. And that was probably the tipping point moment for my coaching career. I didn't really think I was going to go on to be a, a professional coach. But he gave me an opportunity. And when you're in the Canterbury system, the Crusader system, one thing you do know is you learn. I learned really well. Uh, I was very lucky to have been the assistant coach and then the head coach of, of Canterbury. We won five titles in a row, which will probably, I don't think that record will ever be beaten again. So I was very blessed to um, be in a very successful team that had longevity. And then from there, I stepped into the Crusaders. Again, another juggernaut of New Zealand rugby, uh, an amazing platform for me to learn. And while I was there, I was the first uh, non moldy to coach the Māori All Blacks, and that was a real honour for me. I did two campaigns with Fiji at the World Cups, and now I'm the head coach of the New Zealand Under-20 team. So I've, I'm really lucky. I've, I've coached in the amateur game. I've coached the women's game. I've coached in Japan, uh, Australia, New Zealand. I've got a really broad uh, view of the game. And, um, and of course, I've, I've, I coach one year at, at Bath in the Premiership. So I've been around. I've been around and I'm just so excited about coming back to the Premiership and joining a club that's looking to uh, grow and, 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 and for me to grow and learn some more. Yeah, I'm really lucky. My wife Nadia is an absolute adventurer and my children, I think my eldest, Mikey, she's lived in six countries. So we are, we are good travellers and we're so excited to be living in the capital of the world, uh, you know, moving to London, playing at the Stoop. Uh, it is such an exciting adventure. It's a massive challenge for me, of course, but for my family. The family vote was 5 mil. You know, there was no way we weren't going to take this opportunity. So, yeah, we're really excited. Uh, I might have mentioned earlier the, the English Premiership. I learned a lot from my last time here. So I look forward to coming back with a little bit of understanding, having a great coaching group uh, to work with and, you know, coaching in the toughest club competition in the world. To the, to, to the Quinns fans... You know, I heard you in the semi and the final in particular, you know, the, the sport you gave the team was critical and they spoke about it at the end of the game. Uh, you know, coming to the stoop and being able to call that my home. Um, I've been so lucky. Everybody at Quinns has been so welcoming and I know the fans are going to do the same. I'm going to do my utmost best to um, add value and to buy into what Quinns is all about. So come on, you Quinns.